Early this morning, Canon Magala Musiwufu visited Besiji to pray for him at his home in Kasangati, which remains on the security radar. Magala then engaged the police in a conversation before he was allowed to access Besiji's home. He's in confinement. If you cannot allow him to go to church, then he's in confinement. So I felt concerned and I said, out of that, that love, I'm a Christian. I got to come and empathize with him. That's what I'm here for. Later, Besige emerged out of his house before he was intercepted by policemen. Okay, then now. I have to make the choice. I make the choice. You don't make choices yeah. for me. But now he's already here. Police later allowed Besige to proceed to church under their close watch. Though at first there were few people following him, the crowd swelled as he approached Kaleri. Even with heavy deployment at Kaleri Junction, police could not deter the crowds from escorting Besiji. He later alighted from his vehicle and walked into church to attend the service. Here, Reverend Medad Birunji Biayesu implored leaders to find amicable solutions rather than using a radical approach. Why are they demonstrating and in dealing with why? Then you approach demonstrations from Kampala. But if you keep treating symptoms, you see a nurse and you a and what have you. And the problem remains, they will always come, even our children will write and grandchildren. It's good to deal with the root. He told the congregation that all Ugandans deserve equal opportunity. One Uganda, one people, <laughs> moving forward. While talking to journalists after prayers, Besige said that the fight against injustice should be both of prayer and action. So we must pray and we must work and fight for, for justice. Because it is justice that guarantees peace. After prayers, Besige was asked to drive through Lumumba Avenue on his way back home. I'm going in my own ways. I'm not going with him. I'm going in my own ways. Police told Besige's vehicle to Kira Road Police Station after he refused to comply with their orders. Uh, the traffic officers showed him the route he was supposed to take to go to Wandegea, but he insisted he wanted to go to Kiseka Market. Even the priest came and talked to him that, please, uh, do as the police request you to do. Take the route they are telling you to take, but he refused even to lower the, the windscreen down. So we, we had to, to bring him here. After close to two hours at the police station, Besige was released and driven back home under close supervision.